now we come to our time of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you great thanks that you are always with us in your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, our fervent prayer, prayer this morning is that we would know you within us. Lord, we pray again for you to open the eyes of our heart. Lord, that you would give us hearts of compassion, hearts of flesh, not of stone. Lord, we long to put our hand in yours. We can do nothing apart from you, O Lord. And we pray, Father, that during this time, this strange and troubling time, that we would truly come to walk with you in a new way, in a stronger way, in a closer way. And the Father, we lift to you all of those who are sick at the moment with this dreadful virus. Lord, we pray that they would know that you are holding their hands, that you are with them, whether they're at home or in a care home or in hospital. Lord, we pray that your comforting presence, your all-embracing presence, would touch them and release them from the sickness and the fear. Lord, we pray for all of those on the front line, for all of those who put their lives in harm's way to seek healing and good. Bless them richly, Lord. Lift them up. Sustain them, we pray. And Lord, at this time, we lift to you our leaders and all of those in positions of influence. Lord, there are impossible choices to be made. We pray that you will give them courage and strength. And Heavenly Father, at this time, we lift to you our families and our friends. Bless them richly, O Lord. Thank you for them. Thank you for everything that we share with them. Lord, we may be apart from, the, apart from them at this time, and we pray that you would hold them in your loving embrace, that you would heal them, that you would be with them. And Lord, we lift to you all of those who are hurting in some way, those who are sick, those in hospital, for the frightened, for those who are just really worried about the future and maybe their finances and their jobs. Lord, we lift to you the lonely, the dispossessed, the desperate, Lord, we lift to you all of those who have lost somebody close to them. The pain is terrible. Lord, we lift to you those who are dying today. And also for those who have no one to pray for. Bless them, O Lord. And may they all come to know your loving, healing arms around them. Come, Holy Spirit of God, and heal your people, we pray. Lord, we lift to you all of those whom we love so much, but see no longer. Thank you for them, Lord. Bless them richly. And thank you for the certainty that we will come to meet with them again in your eternal kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the most precious sake of your dear Son, our Saviour, our Lord Jesus Christ.
as we look back over the last week, for those times where we've hardened our heart, where we've turned away from you and followed our own plans blindly, Lord, have mercy. Those times, Lord, where we've been selfish or self-centered or self-obsessed. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And Lord, for those times where we've simply just got it wrong. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we now come to our time of the peace, virtually as usual. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And let's offer one another as we come together virtually a sign of peace, a thought of peace, a prayer of peace, and Philip and I both send you all the peace in the world.